What do we get this time? Rice snack. Oh, they're different too. Plus three food, but they, they all have the same nutrition, uh, which is just not much. <laughs> I need that. I need, oh, geez, I totally missed. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Sucked him in. And look at it. We got the, uh, we got the scrap. That's what I wanted. Oh, he's cool. Hi, I come in peace. What's your name, fella? Hey, what's going on, guys and gals? Welcome back to Subnautica. We're picking up kind of sort of where we left off after the last episode, after we had made the moon pool and moved our sea moth into it. It's essentially a garage, and Gary doesn't seem very happy about it. He's looking for the sea moth. Sorry, Gary, we're going to get you in here soon enough. I think we're going to make an aquarium in here. And by the way, I moved the moon pool there, right there, connected it to the base. I deconstructed the old one and then raised it up and connected it to the base. So thank you guys in Commentville out there that told me how to do that. Essentially, I had to remove the glass tube that we had here, which was nice to look out and everything, but we could not put a doorway in it. So I got rid of that, added a T-junction, and then literally this thing just snapped right to it and created uh, the, the doorway for us. So that was very pleasant, very nice indeed, and I obviously raised it up a little bit too so it's all in the same level so what i'm thinking about doing today is making uh, a fish tank in here we'll put gary in there because as our computer had told us after weeks without human contact it is normal to experience psychological discomfort research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or mm -hmm. anthropomorphizing mm -hmm. an inanimate object Adopting a pet. Yes, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to put Gary in a fish tank. I hope I can do that. I'm not sure. In fact, why don't we see if we can do that? Um, it's not really a priority. I haven't lost my mind yet, but I wouldn't mind having a friend. And it was green a second ago. I could plop it right here. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, it is pretty good size. Aw. Now that's weird. I guess we might not be able to put it in here. We might need the multi-purpose room for that. So, all right, tell you what. Let's not worry about that right now. More importantly, we want to make the... This right here. Modification station. Oh, I need copper. Let's go get some copper wire. And that's going to allow us to make changes and modify and upgrade our, um, our sea moth. So that is definitely something we want to do. And we want to do it ASAP. So where does this thing go? Uh, it looks like it goes in very specific locations and it looks is it backwards? Can I squeeze in there? It looks like the panel is facing toward the wall and you can't rotate it. Uh, we'll tell you what let's just put it over let's put it right here. That looks good. Good enough. Just get it in there. Squirt it on. Computer chip, wire, and some other stuff. Oh! We made an indentation in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome! Look at this. So there is a uh, there's a little panel here. Submersible. Oh, I can... Oh, we can change the name of it! You're kidding! See, Mothy! Oh, that's pretty cool. And you can change... Oh, you can color it! A purple? No way. Let's make it... I'm thinking bright yellow. Because it'll be super visible. And uh, it'll look like a little bumblebee. Can we... Oh, we can change the stripe color, too. Oh, yeah, look at that. Solid black. Yeah. And we'll call him... Guess. Bumblebee. Neat. Oh, he's adorable. Look at the little guy. Little Bumblebee. It even says on the side. And up here, too. Bumblebee docked, fully charged. This station is amazing. Now, it looks like we can change... Interior? Is that what that says? I can barely read it. Interior color. Hold on. Oh. What did I just change? That was the... Uh, no, that was a stripe. I don't want purple stripe. Go back. Black stripe, and then come down here. This looks like the interior. Oh, yeah, I can just about make it out in there. Um, how about a burgundy? Where's burgundy? Burgundy interior for our bumblebee. Let's go look. Oh, man! So sweet! I'd hop in, but it would drop us out, and then we'll be in the water, and I don't want to do that yet. But, yeah, bumblebee looking awesome! I like it. So now we got to make the actual upgrade. So here we go. Common modules. Sea moth prawn depth module kit. Oh, we need that. Enhances safe diving depth by 100 meters. Yeah, because this thing starts to crumble and crush at 200 meters. They do not stack. Hmm. Hull reinforcement. 
storage module. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go through these and see what we want to make and what we can hold off on. Torpedo system looks pretty cool. Oh, and here's the torpedoes. Vortex torpedo. Generates a localized gravity distortion, and this one is a gas torpedo, but we got to get gas pods. So the weapons in this game don't actually kill anything. They just um, disable and uh, incapacitate. But it looks like a lot of the stuff we can't even make because we don't have, like, polyaniline, for example. We do have magnetite, though. So I think it's a given to do the hull reinforcement and storage module. Let's just do that. I've got the titanium right in my pocket. And we'll build up the storage module, which is a 4x4 four four storage locker. Okay. So we can carry more. And I love having, like, storage space on vehicles and games. It's so cool. Put all your little spare tires and things in there like that. Uh, so we just slap it right in there? I guess we just snap them in. Oh! Yeah, we can only make four upgrades. So I definitely want to do the, um, the depth upgrade. So we can go down a little bit deeper. I need a titanium ingot and a computer chip. Um, and then maybe the torpedo system? Magnetite and computer chip. Solar charger is pretty nice too. That, that will never run out of gas as long as it's daylight. Hmm, tough choices here. Let's do the let's do the depth module, a titanium ingot and a computer chip, and the torpedo system. And uh, I think a 100% charge and a power cell should get us where we need to go and back without too much trouble. Plus, I can put an extra. I have an extra in here somewhere. Where is it? Power cell. Put an extra in the storage compartment. Where is the storage compartment? I built the darn thing. Oh, there it is. Oh, cool. Little hatch here on the side of Bumblebee. And we can put, like, spare batteries in there. Where is it? Yeah, power cell. It doesn't hold a lot, but it's enough to put some things in there. Like the power cell. And maybe an extra first aid kit. And possibly another repair tool or something like that, right? Yeah. It's like having a trunk in a car. That's awesome. I really like that. So now I think what I want to do is... What are you doing, little paper? I thought I saw something moving in the water. You like my new fish at my swimming pool? Oh, he came up to say hi. Hey, can you go get Gary? That was really funny. Little peeper came up and peeped. We got a peeping peeper. I see bubbles. Is that him? Oh, he's back. All right, I'm going to catch you and push you in a fish tank, too, with Gary. Keep him company. All right, let me get all the necessary supplies for this thing. Oh, I don't need that. Let me see what we needed again. Ingot and a computer chip. I think I have both of those. It's kind of a tight squeeze right here. I'm not a huge fan of that. I guess I have to go around. Not that we'll be going over there too often. But, whoa. Ooh. Ooh, that was weird. Uh, computer chip. I think I have an extra. I sure do. And a titanium ingot. Do I have? I don't have that. Uh, right in here, I've got a couple. And we're gonna have to get some more titanium. Which is something that I've never really been looking for lately because we have so much of it. Uh, there we go. Titanium ingot. Oh, that's bright. Oh, flash my eyes. Uh, I can't see. <laughs> Look how bright Bumblebee is. <laughs> We're never going to lose Bumblebee. And we'll just equip you here. There we go. Crush depth is now 300 meters. Good. Because 200 wasn't it wasn't enough, felt like. And now what do we want to do? Let's do the uh, torpedo system. Another computer chip and magnetite. All right. Let's go make another computer chip, which is pretty easy to do. I think I got all the equipment. I think you need a gold chunk of gold for that i've been hanging out of this gold forever uh copper wire and coral table coral we got all that been stocking up for a rainy day and apparently that's today did it say wire i think it said wire and magnetite what did i do with my magnetite that's over here in the un unmarked box there's a bunch of stuff in there that i don't really know what to do with yet i think i hear gary out there Hey, Gary, why don't you come over to the swimming pool? I'll come in with you. Follow the peeping peeper. I don't think he's friends with the peeping peeper. I wouldn't hang out with the peeping peeper either, because you could be guilty by association if uh, if the cops come by and catch you. 
Seamoth torpedo system. Here we go. Oh, oh, flashing. I think that's a bug. That's weird. I don't think it's supposed to be that bright. Oh, look at that. You can see the, the uh, module slots right here. <laughs> that's cool. I like how that is represented on the outside. And there we go. Seamoth torpedo system. Can we see that? From out, from in, from outside over here. Is that that little thing right there in the front? That tiny little thing? I don't know. All right, let's make. Uh, now, does it come with torpedoes? How big are the torpedoes? I think we should make a couple, a couple extras. What are my torpedoes? Two titanium. They're cheap too. Close your eyes. And let's see how big are they. Holy smokes, they're huge. Okay, well, guess what? I've got the storage. Let's put a couple in, and I don't know if I have to load it up first before we go, or if they come fully equipped with torpedoes, or how it works. We'll, we'll go outside and try in a moment, but I think before we do so, there is one last upgrade I want to make in here before we head out, and that is, under miscellaneous, vending machine. <laughs> we need some junk food. Let's get the titanium. I don't think I have any more loose titanium in that one. Yeah, we're gonna have to go out and get some titanium now. Man, when's the last time you heard me say that? Oh, here, Gary out there. Uh, vending machine. How about right here in the front? Oh, no. Oh, I don't think it fits, guys. It looks like we're gonna have to get that multi purpose room after all. Yeah, it's too big to fit in the hallways. Oh, I can put it in here. We can go swimming and then grab a snack. But it wants to go right on the floor instead of up against the wall. That's so weird. Huh. I don't want it right there. It's just weird. All right, how about in this corner? Can we do it here? Yeah. Vending machine here. I'll probably move it eventually when we get that multi-purpose room. Holy smokes, it comes fully equipped. Whoa. Now, do I need credits or money to use it? Nope. <laughs> I don't think so. What did I get? Did they go into my inventory? Oh, there it is. It's mixed chips. Food plus three and minus two H2O. <laughs> yeah, it's junk food. What did you expect? It's not going to be that filling. Oh, but my gosh, I haven't had a bag of chips in so long. Let's grab another one. Okay. What do we get this time? Rice snack. Oh, they're different too. Plus three food, but they, they all have the same nutrition. Uh, which is just not much. <laughs> just drying me out. I like that over there, actually. It's not too bad. Okay, now we can't go swimming right now because we'll get cramps. We just had that junk food. So give me a minute to get prepared for a trip. We're going to head outside. And we're going to uh, try out our new bumblebee sea moth and all the new upgrades and so forth. Oh, and I wanted to make a rebreather today. This preserves oxygen when diving deeper, absorbs and recycles CO2 into breathable air, it requires a wire kit and fiber mesh. And I have both right there and a wiring kit. Oh no, I don't have a wiring kit. I guess I just used it for something else. Uh, it's a wiring kit. Silver, oh dear. We're down to three, uh, two silver after this. Uh, one silver after this. Yeah, we're going to have to stock up the shelves. I'll do that off camera. Go out and recollect all these materials. There it is. Wiring kit. Very nice. Now, let's go back to that thingamabob. And rebreather. Now, this is going to take the place of my radiation suit helmet. Right there. But I don't think we're going to get near any radiation today. And you know what we could do? We could put it in the trunk. <laughs> in case we go near any radiation. A bumblebee. Will it fit though? Because I got a couple torpedoes in there. Uh, yeah, it makes space. It made enough space. So we've got. Uh, yeah, we got lots of goodies in here. I'll probably throw a water bottle in there too. That last little slot there. Yeah. Anyway, let me get organized. Whoa, I'm in the water. Oh, I got cramps. Cramps. All right, guys, we're ready for our torpedo run. And it looks like we've got some sun rays beating down on the old indoor swimming pool. At least that's what it looks like. It's coming right through the roof. That's interesting. Yeah, we've got a lot of sunshine out today. That's fantastic. Now, something I discovered, and that is... Oh, we go. 
I can actually put uh, torpedoes in the torpedo tubes themselves. It actually came with two, and they hold four total. So I got them out of the storage, um, got them out of the trunk, and we have all this extra space in here. that well, I'll fill it up eventually with stuff. I just don't know what yet. But we have a spare power cell in here, spare battery, water, first aid kit, and uh, some chow, just in case we get hungry while we're out on the road. And I also made a, a locker over here, car parts. And I'm going to bring that extra torpedo, actually. So we're going to fire one just to try it out, because I haven't done that yet. And then we'll reload it. And I'll show you how to do that. I'll just hang on to that then. Okay, I think we're ready to take our sweet ride out for a, uh, a test drive. Um, so let's hop in. Look at that interior. Isn't it beautiful? All right. Oh, I love it. So sweet. Welcome aboard Cal Systems Online. Thanks. Now let me hop out and show you the torpedo tubes first. And they're right here. This is how you access them. Seamoth Torpedo Storage. Uh, so right there. Torpedo Bay Storage. Four of them. And we have to get out to refill them. But still pretty darn awesome looking. So let's go shoot somebody. Uh, actually, why don't we head to... We have another rendezvous point. Aurora Rendezvous Point. This away. Oh! Radiation! What the? Wait, really? Hold on a sec. Where the heck are we? Ah, so I guess I do need my my radiation helmet on over here. That's interesting. All right, well that's fine because guess what? It's in the trunk. <laughs> I'll put it on right now. <laughs> that's so cool. Swap items. Great, and we'll put the rebreather in the trunk in case we go down into the depth somewhere and we need it. Well, this is no radiation around. Okay, well that's interesting. I thought we were away from the radiation. But I guess we're still pretty close. All right. Fine. Let's go. Aurora Rende Rendezvous Point. 1,300 meters away. It's going to be a bit of a jaunt. Oh, well, well, well. What do we have here? I think we have a volunteer for our torpedo test run. <laughs> Come over here and say that. Where'd he go? You better run, you little chicken. Now, how do I... How do I shoot it? Looks like we have... Oh, we have a hot bar down here, and I'm pressing 1 and activating everything. Looks like everything's activated. So, I, I think those the three to the right are all passive upgrades. This one looks like you have to highlight it to shoot. At least that's my guess. Let's try it! I'm gonna shoot this uh, alligator guy, guy. Hey! I need that... Uh, I need that! I need... Oh, jeez, I totally missed. Oh, no, I didn't! <laughs> Sucked him in! And look at it! We got the uh, we got the scrap. That's what I wanted. It's mine. You can't have it. Sucked him right in. It is a vortex. Hey, where'd he go? Oh my gosh, he's gone. Oh, there. I think that's him over there. I think it just kind of sucked him in and spit him out the other side. I don't know, but that was pretty awesome. That vortex doesn't last very long, though. All right, well, let's reload it. So we've got four of those if we ever need them. And I'll hang on to them for emergencies only. All right, hop in the uh, little bumblebee and let's go. It's still a thousand meters away. Oh, look at that big fella. I wonder if I shoot him with a torpedo, what it'll do. Probably absolutely nothing. <laughs> He's too big. Hold on a second. There's something weird going on over here. It looked like a vortex. I didn't shoot by accident, did I? I don't think so. What is this? purpley stuff oh listen to that music it's creepy oh sorry it's membrane tree grab some seems like it might be useful membrane tree seed all right i guess we can grow this for some reason well tell you what let's put it in the trunk and what are those things over there oh see that's what i'm talking about whoa hi who is that guy oh boy yeah all right, get that stuff in the storage quick. Let's go. Uh, I can only fit one. Okay, hop in. Up. Oh! He's right there in front of us, isn't he? What the dickens? All right, this is really, really creepy. So I'm trying to get to that Aurora rendezvous point. But I keep getting sidetracked. I knew I had seen some kind of uh, vortexy effect. And that's what it was. Some creepy dude. Uh, there he is again. 
Uh, listen, I've got torpedoes in this thing, and I'm not afraid to use them, but I want, I want to get really close to look at him. Oh, he's cool. Hi, I come in peace. What's your name, fella? I have a feeling this is one of those aliens that shot down our friend in the sun. Whoa, easy does it now. He doesn't seem hostile. Doesn't seem friendly either, <laughs> to be honest. How about if we go down here and check these things out? I mean, I know we're on our way to the Aurora Rendezvous point, but uh, we might as well do some exploration while we're here. Got plenty of charge. What was that? Is that how that hatch opens? It looked like something opened up in the back here. I don't know. Anyway, I want to go poke this thing. Hello? Nothing in there. I don't think I can do anything with it. They're just like lights, like big lamps. Pretty cool. Oh, I should scan it. Yes. Oh, anchor pod. Of course I should scan it. Let's find out what an anchor pod is. Indigenous life form. All right, we'll read about that later. Let's go scan the tree that I stole seeds from, too. Might as well. Oh, look, there's some goodies here, too. All right, keep those lights on it. Yeah, membrane tree. I have to remember to do more scanning. I always forget. Whoa, this is a long scan. Must be important. Indigenous life form. All right, limestone chunk. I haven't scanned a limestone chunk yet. Probably just a waste of battery. Oh, there's that guy again. Limestone outcrops. What is that? Copper. I don't really need copper. And a gel sack. All right. Scanning the sack. Something good. Indigenous sack. Got it. Oh, blueprint. Near blueprint acquired. Cool. We got a blueprint from the gel sack. What is? What are those down there? They're like little tornadoes. Let's go see. I think the Aurora Rendezvous point is just gonna have to wait. Actually, let me grab that first. I do have to restock the shelves. Oh, silver's good! Because we were running low on silver, remember? Alright, we'll, we'll get there eventually. I want to get to that Rendezvous point before we finish this episode, but I need to investigate this. Oh, they're like little um, like volcanoes or something. What is coming out of there? There's some green stuff on the wall over here, too. Let's go grab it. Limestone. <laughs> Titanium. Oh, we got Uranite Crystal. I think I saw that in one of the recipes, right? For the uh, vehicle upgrades. Can I get in there? Sure. It's down there. Let me go grab it. Scan it. Nope. Nothing in there, it seems. It's just for effect. And that was very effective. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's have a drink. Have some lunch out here. Brought some water and a cured peeper, and I've got some extras in the trunk in case we need it. And I think now we should get to that rendezvous point. So, in case you're wondering, the rendezvous point is from a data bank, um, Aurora Survivor Log, right here. Officer Keen, right here. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates at the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. Landmass? Oh. Intriguing. All right, let's get to the let's get to the rendezvous point. Just about 500 meters away. Be there in a jiff. So hold on tight. I'm driving in the dark. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, heading up to the surface. This is some kind of a landmass, according to Commander Keen. And yes, indeed, it is. Looks like a very large cow. With udders, or maybe stalactites. Yes, just stalactites, probably. What is that thing? It is beautiful. Can I touch it or poke it? Mm, no. Doesn't look like it. All right, well, let's get around this thing and see what's on the surface, because I, I believe this is some sort of an island. Oh, look at this. We can pop right up through the middle. Ooh. It's like it was meant for us to just peek up inside. All sneaky like and hop out. We're inside the darn thing, aren't we? Oh, PDA! Uh, Commander Keen must have been here. <laughs> Commander Keen. <laughs> Captain Keen. <laughs> new PDA data. Yeah, picking up multiple picking energy up multiple signatures. Energy signatures on the surface. 
Really? All right. Well, let's read the log, I guess. Data downloads, Aurora Survivors, Rendezvous voice log. Oh boy, that's a lot of reading. Here, I'll just leave this up for you guys for a moment. Go ahead and read it. And I guess I'll read it off camera. And then figure out what to do for the next episode. Because I think we are done here. This looks like a great place to explore. But I don't think we're going to get to it in this episode. We'll do it in the next one. So I think... Oh, wait. What's that over there, though? Yeah, let's just go that quick. <laughs> I love this part so much. The exploration. Making all these discoveries. Can I actually get over there with my... Oh, that's not it. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's all right. We got the hull upgrade. Wait, where was that? It was... looked like... Can I go up this way? Let's try. No. No, it looks like we have to leave... Oh, no. All right, looks like we have to leave oh, Bumblebee here. Sorry, Bumblebee, but you've got to stay here, little buddy. I'm going in on foot, as they say. <laughs>